Yo, before the video starts, I just want to give you a little side note. I started with this project around 10 months ago and that was when we barely knew anything about the movie. So yeah, don't take the story too seriously, this is just a little fun project. But I would say enough chit-chatting, enjoy the video. <laughs> this really got my heart racing. I can't believe how much you've all improved. Especially you, Broly. Thank you. Ah, uh, all those years and he still can't do a simple hand sign. Let's get serious already. Sounds good. This should be interesting. Finally! <laughs> now hurry up, and don't you dare mess it up again! Fusion! <laughs> Playtime's over, over, Gamma 2! Time to show these androids our full power! <laughs> Special Beam Cannon! <laughs> Go on, just hold on a little longer. <laughs> Long time no see, Gohan. <sighs> Cell! Dad, help! You! Better let my daughter go! <laughs> Dad, Dad! I finally learned how to fly! Can I train with you in Piccolo now? Wait, really? Whoa, that's awesome, Pan! All right, I'm sure we can train together on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs>
Now show me your power. <clears throat> This should be about work. <laughs> Damn! Is that Gohan? That's definitely Gohan! But his energy is different. So much rage. And we can feel it all the way from here? Something terrible must have happened! Gohan, why the hell is Cell here? He killed her. I wasn't expecting such great power. You two don't seem to be able to defeat your opponents, so I'll do it all myself now. I don't think you could defeat them alone. Together it should be easier. <laughs> I know. Ugh! Is he absorbing them? Again? Are you even the same cell we knew back then? How the hell are you back? I was created by Dr. Jero's grandson, Dr. Hedo. Using your new divine energy cells in the process, becoming more perfect than I ever was. Now that I've absorbed Gamma 1 and 2, you could say I'm new and improved. Again. Those eyes haven't changed much at all since the Cell games. Gohan! It's too dangerous for you to go fight him on your own! I don't care! He killed my daughter! He's right, Gohan. You know you can't win all by yourself. You can absorb as many androids as you want, Cell! That won't stop me from ripping you apart! Explaining this in detail would take way too long. Let's just say Cell is back and stronger than before. Why that little... He did it again! Ah! Mosaico!
Ka me ha me Feels like the good old days, doesn't it go on? It's, if they keep this up, they'll destroy the Earth! <laughs> Damn it, it wasn't enough. And now he's regenerated, and because he almost died, his sand cells made him an absolute monster! Sent White Gohan at the upper hand the whole time. He needed to await Gohan's potential to be able to get him almost killed in his strongest form. You really never learned, Gohan. But I did. I know that I still can't take all of you by myself. That's why I made a little deal with someone. To leave Goku, Vegeta, and the big guy to him. Since he has some unfinished business. <laughs> Thank you for leading them here, partner. And now, it is time to put the monkeys down once and for all! <laughs> well, there you have it. 10 months of hard work put into a little video. Let me introduce you to the legends that helped this project. And of course I'm gonna start with my boy Alawadi. Alawadi did a huge portion of the animation. He also composited some scenes. At the end he also helped me with some sound editing. He did the poster, thumbnail, and the list just goes on. He also helped Dragon Ball Deliverance, another big fan project. His socials will be linked in the description like all the others that I'm gonna mention. I wanna thank the sound editors as well. They did a good chunk of the sound editing and it helped me spare some time. Twin is an upcoming sound editor. Next up is Films. He helped me with the Ultra Instinct Aura. And I gotta say it looks very close to the original and I like it a lot. I wanna thank Tomotion too. He gave me some really good tips. He's one of the leaders of Dragon Ball Deliverance, the biggest Dragon Ball fan project. Next one is Leatherly Mathos. You may have already seen him doing the Dragon Ball Z vs Dragon Ball Super redraws. Next up, Jaylent. Like Leatherly Mathos, he was one of the OG members and finished up his scenes very fast. 
Next up, Toku is a rising animator who works on another Dragon Ball project called Dragon Ball Nebula. Which brings me to the next animator, Sean Drawings. He's one of the leaders of Dragon Ball Nebula. He also did some compositing. Speaking of compositing, the blue element composited the thumbnail poster and the intermission poster. Next one, my boy Expesots. His drawing style is probably the cleanest of the whole project. He was also part of Deliverance. Next is Kalyon Animations. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, phone. It's also part of Dragon Ball Deliverance. And I'm super satisfied with what he did for this project. Thanks to Mattia Marine for doing the intermission poster. Next one is Red Terror Guy. If you look at the scenes, would you think he did that on his phone? I wouldn't, but he did. Seriously awesome job, bro. Alright, let's talk about the voice actors. Gohan was voiced by the legend Jose. Definitely check out his TikTok for more voice acting. Next up, David. He voiced Goku and Goten. He does fan dubs on TikTok, and he was the soldier in the beginning scene of Dragon Ball Deliverance. Next one is Jay. He did the roles of Cell, Piccolo, Gamma 1, and Beerus. He's also an artist, so check out his art. Next up, the voice of Gamma 2, Waves Joestar. He's a very cool guy, and he's very active in social media. The voice of Broly and Frieza was Mike Collins. Go ahead and support him. The voice actress of Pan and Chile was Strawberry Kitty. Seriously awesome job. The voice actor of Whis was Saiyan Hokage. Managing a big project like this wasn't easy at all. It was actually very frustrating at times and I worked day and night on this project. If you want a little behind the scenes video or something, just let me know in the comments. Will there be a part 2? I'm personally really not in the mood to do one. That's why I'm gonna set the unrealistic goal of 20k likes. If you hit it, I'm gonna do a part 2. With that being said, see ya.